work hard to keep your children on time, you've got company. Your pediatrician, along with the American Academy of Pediatrics, would like kids to stay on schedule with their vaccinations. When the AAP made the schedule, they didn't just sort of randomly choose what shot should go where. They looked at when the child's most at risk for that disease. Recent years have seen more parents engage in shot limiting or delaying immunizations. At the same time, the number of vaccine preventable diseases have gone up. We see a lot more chicken pox than we used to because people aren't doing the chicken pox vaccine. Um, and especially overseas, they've had a lot of people not doing the measles vaccine and they've seen a large increase in the amount of measles. As the vaccine schedule has evolved, several shots are grouped together. Together. They're tested and approved to be given that way. It means children get poked fewer times, and now new research shows an even bigger benefit, strengthening your child against infections. A study published in the American Journal of Pediatrics showed the use of the MMR vaccine not only prevents against measles, mumps, and rubella, but children who are immunized on schedule are less likely to end up in the hospital with any type of infection, especially respiratory ones. Parents need to be much more aware as to what shots they did get and what shots they didn't. That's very different if they get a fever and end up in the emergency room than a child who got all of their shots. So you are putting your child at additional harm by not vaccinating against all of those things at one time. It's believed the group shots may have a general immunizing effect. The latest findings giving the vaccine schedule a much needed shot in the arm. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.